This is Roxy Rue making armor from Subasa Reservoir Chronicles. I'm going to make it out of foam. I'm going to show you every single step I made along making this armor from start to finish. Here we go. First off, get some newspaper, wrap it around you, make some marks with markers. Then you cut the paper out and use it as a pattern. There we have it on the foam. That is EVA foam. Cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Make sure it fits kind of-ish if you can. Cut out the other pieces. More cutting. Test fit often. Use a heat gun to heat form it. I got mine from Home Depot. You can also get it at Hayes Hardware. Any ha hardware store, basically. Try it on constantly. More heat forming. More heat forming. Rolling things and doing stuff is very important. Make sure when you do your sanding outside that you always wear safety gear. Now comes the fun part. Glue only a little bit at a time. I'm using a hot glue gun. Make sure that the pieces fit together. And you have to wait a long time for it to dry. Make sure to glue the inside so there's extra reinforcement. Because when you take it on and off, it's you don't want it to come apart. Here I'm test fitting it on my mannequin that I made out of duct tape. I repeated the same steps with my shoulder piece. You can use your knee or your foot. This is the detailing I put on craft foam. Cut it out. Add the rim on the edges with some centimeter wide craft foam. Make sure when you put on any details that you always start from the center. More gluing. Buttons! I cut out four pieces of foam and sandwich them, or sandwich the button in between the foam. Like that. Oh look, more gluing. But when you're done, you come out with a button. I sewed it on to the fabric that I glued onto the back of the pauldron. And then there we are. Oh my goodness. Look, it's armor. See how cool it looks? There's the buttons all sewed on. There's the there's four of them total. One on that side, one on the other. So I'm going to paint my chest piece, and my shoulder guard. I have my Plasti Dip, which seals the foam, and then I have my red, silver for highlights, and gold. And I also have a clear coat somewhere, I think it's inside. Got my plastic gloves, and tape to tape things off later. But first we're going to do Plasti Dip, which is sealing everything up, and we'll just get started. Oh yeah, I also use this old shower curtain so I can uh, paint without having to spray paint the, gla or the grass. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Okay, so let me just go very even movements. That's two coats. So I moved it inside the garage. This is the armor. After a few coats of Plasti Dip, and a few coats of white. Still need a few more. There's some shoulder piece. Here we are. It's all taped up and I'm adding the details. Gold and then red on the shoulder piece. We'll see how it turns out. And here is the completed armor. It's so pretty. There's the shoulder piece. 
see how I added strapping? All I did was just glue it on the back and then added some craft foam for reinforcement. Always add reinforcement. And there we are. Completed Ashura armor. This is a basic armor tutorial by Roxy Roo. Thank you for watching. And good luck with your armor. So seriously, good luck.